This video will take you through the flash system 9100 and 9150 install and setup done by Joshua Boomert and Andrew Greenfield, both of IBM. A quick picture of both systems right here. Now, take a look at this URL. Pretty much you put this URL in on your browser when you've directly hooked up to the box that you've put in your rack. And let's go through the system install. You'll see this happy little wizard. You'll put in the usual details where in this case, I'll be putting in a fixed IP address here in my lab in Littleton, Massachusetts. It'll actually restart itself once you've done this, and then it'll actually set itself up for email notifications as well as the contact information here. In case you'd like to visit us and or do a proof of concept or other demo, here's the address for our Littleton IBM lab in Massachusetts. Some of the great things about the Littleton Lab in Massachusetts is that we have a lot of different server and OS platforms that we can test and do benchmarks on, including a lot of different of the key business applications, not just Oracle, but Microsoft, as well as MySQL, including OpenStack, Docker, and Kubernetes. We also have a wide variety of storage platforms that we can actually test from the FS900, as well as the 9150 on the store-wise side, as well as the V7 SVC and the A9000 and XIV. And of course, you want to put in a contact information. Our lab manager is Patrick Pollard, and you can see his email as well as the phone address. Once you've done putting in all this in, it'll actually reconfigure itself. So. Uh, you saw earlier the email setup. I am actually going to put in my email call home right now. This is, again, our mail server out of the lab. Once that call home completes, you can actually sign up for IBM Storage Insights. It has both a free as well as a paid version and allows you to do cloud monitoring of all of your IBM storage and other IBM items, including setting up tickets and call home events. As you can see with the summary, it'll actually then ask once again to reboot. And once the reboot completes, we'll actually go into the main setup where we'll provision and set up LUNs and hosts so that we can actually start using the 9100. Stay tuned. Talk to you soon.